There has been a theory in the Halo community since the release of Halo Reach that Noble Six survived the Battle of Reach. Most people don't believe this theory, but there is more evidence pointing towards it than you might realize. So let's dive in and discover if Noble Six survived Reach. Now at first you may be thinking, well of course you didn't survive. Have you seen those glassing beams? How could you survive that? And while this seems like the obvious answer, it's not as obvious as you might think. The Azad Shipyard, which is where the last two missions of the game take place, was not glassed. At least, it doesn't appear to have been. The end of the final cutscene takes place in the year 2589, where it appears humans are beginning to resettle. Now if you know anything about glassings, then you'll know it could take centuries of terraforming for glassed land to be re-inhabitable. And as we can see, this part of Reach is already being re-inhabited only 37 years later. More evidence of this is the natural geography of the land, Noble Six's helmet, and the crash UNSC ship weren't vaporized into ash. This is what a glassed area looks like years later. Not this. The final piece of evidence is that while playing as Noble Six, we destroy the Covenant Cruiser's glassing beam, preventing the shipyard from being glassed. And sure, you could just say they sent another cruiser to glass it, but it was only a shipyard. The reason they're probably trying to glass it in the first place was because of the Pillar of Autumn. And since the Autumn escaped, there really is no reason to waste the resources glassing an abandoned shipyard. Now moving on to the actual fight where most people assume that Noble Six dies. During this fight, Six fights to the bitter end, but it appears that he gets stabbed several times. However, if you slow it down, then you'll see that Noble Six actually never gets stabbed. At least from what we see. Six blocks the first Elite, but then appears to get stabbed by the second Elite's energy sword. But as I said before, slow it down and you'll see that the sword actually misses Six. Now some people say the reason it missed is simply because the people who made this scene didn't spend the time to make it very precise since unless you slow it down, then you probably won't notice it. But I think that's a boring answer. Next, we see the third stab also misses. Six rolls out of the way just in time. We don't see much more of the fight after this. The second elite goes in for another stab, but since we can't see six, we can't tell if it's gonna hit or not. The scene ends with a third elite arriving with an energy sword, and at this point it might seem six is doomed. He's possibly injured, on the ground with no weapons, and is surrounded by elites. But keep in mind that Noble Six is classified by Oni as a hyper lethal vector. Only one other Spartan has this classification, and I'm sure you can figure out who that is. So yeah. I think that he would be able to survive that fight. More evidence that Six survived the encounter is these two images. The location where we see Six's helmet is not the same place that he drops it during the cutscene. To be honest, the reason the helmet is in a different location is probably just so it can look cool. But as I said before, that's boring. So I like to believe that Six did survive the fight, grabbed his helmet, and tried to escape, but was chased down by Covenant forces. Here he dropped his helmet, because, well, look at it, it's kind of useless right now, and held his last stand, probably somewhere in the direction the helmet is facing. Of course, I have no evidence of this fight happening, but I feel that the helmet having been moved is enough proof that Six survived the fight that we can see in the cutscene. Now after listening to all that, you may think that I believe Noble Six survived the Reach. The answer to that is no. I have never believed that Six survived the Reach. And if you do believe Six survived, and this video reinforces your belief, then you should know that both Bungie and 343 have confirmed that Six did indeed die at Reach. I believe everything that I said in this video. Azad wasn't glassed, Six survived the encounter we see, but died not long later while trying to escape. So to answer the title, no. Noble Six did not survive the Battle of Reach.